Up next, the Rockets taking on the Mavericks. For the Houston Rockets, gaining momentum as we reach the midway point. Tonight, another chance to put the league on notice. They're coming. Mavs, Rockets is up next. Get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Brian Anderson with Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke. Allie LaForce, our reporter. And midway through the season, here's a look at the Western Conference standings right now. You take a look at the Mavericks. They're in fifth place, right in the middle of the conference. Still time to improve that positioning. And of course, the Houston Rockets, far behind in the standings. And let's go straight over to the sideline for a report before they tip off. Hey, Allie. B.A. Christian Wood went undrafted in 2015. He said lots of those guys who were drafted ahead of me aren't in the league anymore. I've been to China. I've been cut. I've been told I wasn't good enough. But I'm still here, and I haven't reached my goal. I want to be an all-star. I feel like I can be one of the top players in the league. Thanks, Allie. And two conference rivals facing off here. Grant, what were some of your fiercest rivalries at the NBA level? You know, when I was in Detroit, it had to be the Hawks and I think probably the Bulls. I think the Bulls were everybody's rival in the Eastern Conference back then. And then, of course, in Phoenix, we had some real battles with the Lakers. Looking at the starting five for the Dallas Mavericks. Kleba and Porzingis, the combo inside. Trey Burke is out there with Luka Doncic. And it's Hardaway in at the three. And for Houston, Tyson Wood playing together in the front court. Green and Tate on the perimeter. And it's Wall in at the point. Here's Burke. Here's Doncic. Got a hand on it. And here's Wall. Pass to Wood. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wood. Bullock, he's checked in for Burke. Maverick substitution. Reggie Bullock. And here's Dallas. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. Yeah, the final score surprised a lot of people. I don't think many expected them to win. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt. They came in as Tim a favorite, Harley seemed Jr. to lose their confidence Three. down the stretch, started to play tight, and let that one slip away. Now here's Wall. Playing Washington, he was nearly unstoppable. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Yeah, there's just such a grittiness, touch of toughness to John Wall. Nice finish through contact. Doncic passes to Porzingis. Rockets with a rebound. The last time they came together was in Dallas, where they fell to the Mavericks. Always a tough atmosphere on the road. They were right in it, but just didn't make enough plays. You know what? Playing on the road is always challenging. It requires a level of energy and focus. You've got to match what the home team gives you, and they didn't do it. And defensively, you have to make them work harder than this, or it's going to be a long night. Porzingis finds Doncic, shoots over Wall, and there's Doncic. That's good. On the assist by Porzingis. Well, Porzingis does a nice job looking for the window to make his teammate better. Pretty pass. Wood inside. Working on Porzingis. Pass to Green. Clock at six. He takes it in. He's off on the layup. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. It's Bullock on the wing. Back to Doncic. Floats one up, and they'll get another chance. That's the length of John Wall. Boy, this guy has been so consistently good defensively. Here's Bullock. 
No good. A bit long that time. A little hesitant. Maybe he thought the D was tighter on him than it really was. And Wall really helps you across the board. He fills up the stat sheet at both ends, but he also has that presence, that it factor. Whether winning or losing, his confidence never wanes. And the basket by Tice. Daniel Tice has proven he's more than capable of giving an opportunity on the face-up game. Pretty jumper there. Doncic outside. Plenty of room to knock down that one. Doncic just got his second bucket of the night. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Wood misses. Most nights, this shot would have been his, but the defender gave him just enough trouble. It's Bullock on the wing. Porzingis sets a screen. Back to Bullock. Doncic outside. Kleba, screen on wall. Doncic left side. Wood grabs the board. Wood's got four rebounds now. Tate passes to Wall. And yep, it's good. Wall's got six. And it just comes off so aggressively. Wall so hard to guard. Pass to Bullock. Porzingis with a screen on green. Outside Hardaway. And it's out of bounds to the Mavericks as Dallas retains possession. Dallas ball. Four on the clock. Bullock. Good. Bullock. Assist goes to Maxi Kleba. And so it's Houston with it. They defeated Washington in their last game. And you know, that game had to serve as a morale boost. To win like that in OT, it says something about their character. You know, they came in as the underdog here. Very low expectations, could play without pressure, and clearly that worked. Here's Doncic. After the Rockets picked up a basket a moment ago. Back to Porzingis. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Well, this is what you want to see. It's 7-3. Kristaps Porzingis finished through contact. Outside wall. Ooh, he's locked in. Dreams his fifth shot in as many attempts. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. Pass to Bullock. Over to the wing. Kleba finds Doncic. Five on the clock. From deep three-point range, Bullock's shot is off. For Houston, they've gone six of nine and finding their rhythm now. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Jay Sean Tate. And the Mavericks call time here. And a few teams falling way behind in the standings right now, Doris. How do they keep their spirits up? You know, B.A., I don't think you make it to this level unless you love the game. And when you're successful, it can be easy to lose sight of that. Winning isn't everything. Sometimes it's about developing. Your club city
group here for the Mavericks. The 2K leaderboard lights up with the league's top scoring teams. The Mavericks second. They've been having a great season on the offensive end of the floor. It never takes this team long to put big points up on the board. Outside Brunson. Powell outside. Lays it up and banks it in. That's about great concentration. Dwight Powell under duress of the defense finishes nonetheless. Now Augustine to the inside. Powell with a steal. And a fast break now. The Mavericks on the run. And Powell with the stuff. If Powell's on the court, he's a threat to dunk it. Incredible athleticism. The Rockets trail. Outside Augustine. Pass to Tate. Gordon outside. Six to shoot. This one for three. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Now here's Powell. He's averaging almost five points a game. Brown against Tate. Brown inside. That one drops for him. And the Mavericks lead by one. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Here's Gordon. And it's Brunson with the rebound. Dallas has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Right side, Finney Smith. Sends it home Boy, from three-point land. Now it's a four-point Maverick lead. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Gordon against Brown. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And a chance for a moment At to check out the scoring Rockets. breakdown for Dallas. Eric so far, guys, At they've done the a fantastic job teams. finding the open man and getting some easy buckets. Well, they've established their presence in the paint tonight also. And a lot of their scoring coming from oh, down low take a so break. far. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. And that's good as he hits both shots. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Right side, Brunson. And he drives in. Doesn't go that time. The Rockets have got seven of 11 shots to find the mark. Two minutes. Here's Gordon. No good that time. Dallas has gone two of three from three-point land so far. Outside, Finney Smith. Pass to Brown. Gordon against Brown. And the layup is good off the glass. And the Mavericks lead by four. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. to Houston.
Detroit's making a switch here. Porter Jr.'s checked in. And Dallas also making a switch. Cauley Stein, he's checked in for Brown. in the first quarter. Pass to Shangun. Now here's Gordon. He's marked by Finney Smith. Back to Gordon. Clock is at three. Left side, Nwaba. Outside, Augustine. Nwaba, screen on Brunton. Augustine. And another miss by Houston. The Mavericks leading. And Brunson, here we go. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's on David Nwaba. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Mavericks, Jalen Brunson. Two shots. one falls for him. He's perfect from the line this time. 52 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Gordon outside. Down low. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. And here's Brunson from the arc. He drops it from range. Brunson. Brunson's got Four, five three. points. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Gordon outside. They set a pick. Puts up a three. Knocks it down from distance. Give him eight points now. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect That's nothing the less from the these two. The taking pride and making Your plays. Office. Good scoring in this one as we conclude the first quarter. Mavericks ahead. They're up by four. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. have been lights out offensively. But Christoph Porzingis says defense is where they can really move the needle. Find ways to win games, you know, at the end it's most of the games that we won, it's not just offense. It's mostly defense that, you know, got us to win. So if we keep doing that, then, then we should be able to win some games. Grant, no doubt, they can win a lot of games. That's true. And the key to their turnaround defensively will be his play protecting the paint. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Mavericks. Well, they clearly came into this game focused on sharing the ball. When you keep everyone involved at the offensive end, it keeps everyone engaged in other areas as well. Taking a look at the Mavericks. Jim Hardaway is out there with Willie Cauley-Stein. Then it's Luka Doncic. 
Then it's Kristaps Porzingis. And it's Bullock in at the two spot. Guys, a player like Luka Doncic is going to capture the imagination of NBA fans. His creativity, his flair for the dramatic, his passing, his shot making. I can't keep my eyes off Luka Doncic. Here's Bullock, averaging around six a game. Porzingis with a screen on Porter. Pass to Porzingis. And here's Doncic outside. Counted from distance. And now it's a seven-point Maverick lead. And they called him the Wonder Boy in Europe, Doris. Luka Doncic is a magician with the ball in his hands. And he just loves to play the game. And that started at a very young age. Like so many other prodigies, his talent can take your breath away. Now here's Hardaway. Seven-point game. Biggest lead so far. Boy, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second-chance points. Big-time effort on the glass. And when you have a touch that soft, those tip-ins are easier to make. Order the pass to Green. On the wing, Porter. Tice outside. To stop the run. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> Better luck next time, maybe. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Here's Doncic. Here's Porzingis. And the shot goes down. Porzingis. And the Mavericks lead by 11. This guy has been elite as a passer since he entered the league. He takes pride in making the guys around him better. And out of bounds, the Mavericks will take it. Dallas ball. And a moment to check in on the rookies with the best shooting percentage in the last month. Second, Jalen Green. I mean, he's shooting like a seasoned player right now. It has to be exciting for the coaching staff to see him excelling like this. For Dallas, they've gone a terrific 4 of 5 here in the second quarter. Doncic left side. Over Porter. And it's Dallas scoring again. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Alright, look who's coming out of the court. Get loud for your club. in for Porter Jr. Brown, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Kleba comes in for Cauley Stein. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. Ball against Doncic. Shot to end the cold streak. 
Wall gets the bucket. Wall's got 12 points. And Doris, you know a thing or two about dropping dimes from your college playing days. I've seen it. So in your opinion, who's the best passer in the league today? Boy, this is this is not an easy answer, B.A. Chris Paul is going to go in the Hall of Fame as a point guard, and, and he manned that position, and for a good decade, he was one of the best in the business. But if I were saying best ever and best right now, it's hard for me to go away from LeBron James. His vision, his creativity, his ability to make the game easy for his teammates, I, I'd say LeBron James. And it's the Rockets with the ball, following the score by Dallas, and finished off by Tice. Well, Daniel Tice up high to finish that shot. Nicely done. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. Here's Bullock, green covering. Doncic outside, jacks up a three, and the rebound goes to the Rockets. Minnesota will be traveling to face him after this game. That'll be the second and last game of a quick homestand. Now here's Wall, tight defense on him. Can't get it to go. He's shooting six for seven so far on this one. Brown, a screen on green, to the paint. A oh, nice Moses shot Brown. by Brown. Brown's got his second basket Reggie of the game. Bullock. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. And Dallas with possession. They're on a 15-4 run. Here's Bullock. Green covering. And here's Doncic outside. Not going to go that time. So Houston will take it the other way. Ball for three. Ball missing again. It hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump. Here's Bullock. Green covering. Back to Hardaway. Brown, a screen on Nawaba. Hardaway with it. Guarded now by Wood. Four on the clock. And it's blocked by Wood. And he recovers it. Always engaged on the defensive end. Daniel Tice with the excellent rejection. Nuaba pass to Tice. Here's Wall, guarded by Doncic. Wall against Doncic. The free ball. It's rebounded by Kleba. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Bullock. And it's Wall with the block. Hardaway against Nuaba. Mavericks with the rebound. Brown's got four rebounds now. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Kleba passes to Doncic. Here's Bullock. Pass to Brown. Soft touch off the glass. Brown's got his third basket on the night right there. If you give him any sort of space, he's going to attack.
Gretzky's coming out of the court. Get loud for your Love City Texas! And a new group getting ready for the Mavericks. Powell, he's checked in for Brown. Finney Smith comes in for Hardaway. Brown, he's checked in for Bullock. And Brunson is subbed in for Luka Doncic. Oh, they get a hand on it. Out of and so the ball out of bounds. Brown what touched the glass. Just a millisecond late. So close to coming up with a steal there. Absolutely appreciate the effort, though. He really went after it. So close. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated. Able to shut it down with authority. Here's Shangun. He's been productive, averaging just over seven points a game outside Augustine. Pass to Shangun. Now here's Tate. Shot clock at six. Gordon, left side, over Finney Smith. And another miss by Houston. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Back to Brunson. And here's Brown. Here's Brunson. Powell sets a screen. Ten feet away. And that one's good for Brunson. Brunson. Brunson's got seven points in the game. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Outside, green. Another miss. They desperately need a bucket. Dallas has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Pass to Finney Smith. And here's Kleba. Now Brunson. Oh, stolen by Augustine. On the wing, Green. He's marked by Finney Smith. Back to Green. Let's go with a three. It's rebounded by Dallas. And Dallas with possession. They're on a 19-4 run. Outside, Brown. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two Outside, minutes. Brunson. Kleba with a screen. Brunson with it. Tate picks him up defensively. Yep, that one's good. Jalen Brunson. He's got nine. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Here's Shangun. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And we got a quick moment to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Christian Wood. And we've seen a jump in the last few years in terms of his rebounding. The heart, the hustle, his ability to read shot trajectories and crash the glass at the right time, and his teammates really appreciate the hard work. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Porter Jr., he's checked in for the Rockets. Kristaps Porzingis, he's checked in for the Mavericks. And so he hits both. There's a minute 34 left in the first half of this one. Pass to Finney Smith. Perfect night so far. Two for two. 
very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. And Grant, after a training camp invite back in 2016, undrafted rookie Dorian Finney-Smith making the Mavs roster. It was a big deal. They saw a 3 and D potential in this young guy. Well, the effort and tenacity have been there from the beginning. And now the shot is coming along too. Good on the shot. Six points for him. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Outside, Brown. Back to Brunson. Up and over Porter. And no good trying to use the glass. And Houston is shooting only 42% to the middle. Here's Tate. And it's going to be a goaltending call goal here, so they will count the bucket. I mean, he had the right idea, but his timing was just a little off, and it resulted in a goaltend. The Mavericks making a switch here. Collie Steins checked in. We've got 33 seconds left in the second. Pass to Porzingis. Back to Brunson. Finney Smith with it to the left wing. Colley Stein finds Brunson. Just five on the clock. Up and over Gordon. Off the left rim and out. And again, it's Houston. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks in a good situation, up by 13 points to close the quarter. They put in work down low, getting in close and scoring in bunches. And more NBA action on 2K Sports, coming your way right after this. Hello and welcome to what a first half for cool hand Luka, Luka Doncic. Through the first two quarters, he's been fantastic. Look for them to keep feeding him, running offensive sets through him. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know that one, right, Shaq? Yes. Let's move on to see what's coming up on the schedule. I hope they see the upcoming road games as an opportunity to spend time together and build trust. Ties you make with your guys on the trip can really strengthen the squad, like me and you, Ernie. Forget Kenny, me and you are tight. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Boy, we're seeing a tremendous game from John Wall. Oh, he's been their defensive anchor so far. Stifling shots left and right. If he is in the area, he's going to challenge your shot. He's going to block it, alter it. He's going to have an impact. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Tate and Tice holding down the forward spots. Manning the backcourt, it's Wall and Green. And it's Wood in at the five. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Uh, John Wall has an incredibly high basketball IQ. So you find the shooter and get it into their hands. Doncic. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That'll belong to John Wall. Man, the defender really went after him. And he says he needs to improve his game in a lot of areas. But you ask me, Luka Doncic is one of the most complete players you'll find. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And you talk about the overall game of Doncic. He's a tremendous passer, a tremendous rebounder, and we know he can score. And that's what defines the great players. Even if his shot's off on a given night, he has other ways to impact the game. And he sinks the second. 
From the moment Luka Doncic stepped between the lines at the NBA level, he has been a force to be reckoned with. Rookie of the year's first year, all-star the next year, and he's carved out his place unequivocally as one of the best in the business. Wall gets the bucket. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible, and boy, that's a terrific start right there. Now here's Doncic. 12 points for him. That shot missing. Wall with a defensive effort. About a minute played here in the second half. Very pretty alley-oop. Well, Daniel Tice just working hard, putting himself in a position to score. Here's Burke. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Fades and shoots. No luck on that one. And Houston will come the other way. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. Here's Wall. Good D by Hardaway. The Mavericks leading. Hardaway on the wing. Pass to Burke. Doncic outside. Doncic is double. Kicks it out to Hardaway. Beyond the arc. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. Three points. Hardaway's got six points. Well, we know that Tim Hardaway Jr. can space the floor. You don't want to allow him to start cooking. Tice is green on Doncic. Wall on the attack. And the big finish by Wall. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. The defense, no fighting through the pick, no rotation. My goodness. Now here's Hardaway. He has six. Here's Porzingis. And all First around the rim Porzingis. that time before dropping. Assisted. Six points for him. Tim now this Junior. is why they call him the unicorn. Porzingis off the catch, ready to rise and fire. That's seven foot three, everybody. Here's Wood. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Ball, the pass to Wood. And a foul Dallas called foul. on the way up. So That's he'll take two up. from the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. And you get some traditional big foul. man stuff from Wood. But you look at his handles going one on one outside the painted area. Most centers can't Taking do all the things that he can do. Shots. That free throw misses, and Wood's shown great versatility on offense. But the same skill set applies on the defensive end as well. I mean, he can switch. He slides on the perimeter to protect the rim. His skill set is exactly what scouts are looking for now at the center position. And the Rockets making a change here. Nuaba's checked in. Brown, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Bullock comes in for Burke. Good on the second one. Dallas has gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Pass to Bullock. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Brown, a screen on green. Just three to shoot. Here's Bullock. Wood grabs the board. Wood's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Ball against Doncic. And Wood with the stuff. This guy is consistently finding his teammates their best spots to score. John Wall showing terrific passing ability. Pass to Brown. From deep, here's Doncic. And the foul called on Moses Brown. Moses Brown. That's foul number two for him. Now he's checked in for the Mavericks. First team foul. Maverick substitution. Dwight Powell. The Rockets have got five of six shots to fall so far in the third. Ball for three. And the Rockets hit again from deep. Puts one in the eye of the defense. First triple of the evening. Dallas has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Pass to Bullock. 
Doncic outside, looking to end this cold spell. He's awful now. Some solid D from Wood. A moment here to see who the top rookie rebounders have been over the last 10 games. Jalen Green, fourth. They've given him the minutes to see what he can do, and he's done a great job helping them control the glass. For Dallas, they've gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. Hardaway, the pass to Doncic. Back to Hardaway. Over Nwaba. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. Now here's Nwaba. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Tice sets a screen. Puts it up from 12. Green, the pass to Nwaba. And that one is stuffed right through. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. Well, that's his second three of the game. One in the first half, one here. Pass to Wood. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Wood's got five points now in the quarter. Oh, I like their execution in the second half. They're keeping this game competitive. Outside Hardaway. Powell, a screen on Nwaba. Hardaway, the pass to Powell. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Outside Nwaba. Pass to Wall. And the foul Dallas called foul. on Moses Brown. Moses Brown. That's his third foul so far. Now a timeout foul. called by Houston. You know, one guy who's been foul. getting it done is Luka Doncic. Boy, he's really Rockets. had their number. They need to make some kind of adjustment during this timeout. All right, look who's coming out of the court. Get loud for your Quad City Texas. Cauley Stein, he's checked in for Powell. Finney Smith comes in for Hardaway. Brown, he's checked in for Bullock. And Brunson is subbed in for Doncic. He's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. first personal foul. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Dallas. They keep piling on the assist, guys. They haven't cooled off any in that regard. You know, something else we've seen them doing tonight is getting the long ball to drop. Big points coming from three-point range right now. That's good from Porter. Mm -hmm. 
Porter hits them both. Dallas has gone 6 for 12 from deep so far in this game. On the wing, Finney Smith. Back to Brunson. Inside. Oh, there's a killer two-hand <laughs> slam. I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. Gordon outside. Pass to Nwaba. Here's Shangun. Back to Nwaba. Out to the wing. Just five to shoot. Outside quarter. This for the tie! The shot comes out. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting hard for every miss. Now Brown. Brunson with it. Back to Brown. Pass to Brunson. On the wing, Finney Smith launches it. It's rebounded by Shangun. For Houston, they've gone 8 of 10 in the third and looking in control. There's a screen. Here's Gordon. Count the basket. Gordon's got 12. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Outside, Finney Smith. Outside, Brown. Pass to Brown. Brown, a screen on Porter. Let's it go. It's tipped. Now Gordon. He's marked by Finney Smith. Gordon outside. Rejected by Brown. And he gets it back. Here's Porter. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. Dallas has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Outside Brunson. Outside Finney Smith. Back to Brunson. Down low. Nice shot by Finney Smith. Finney Smith's got four points this quarter. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. That ability to change direction, switch gears, stay in control. DJ Augustine doing it all on that dribble drive. Here's Brunson. The Rockets getting their last shot to go. Brown with it. There's a screen. It's rebounded by Houston. And here's Gordon from the arc. Sinks that one. Now shooting 5 of 10. Looking sharp. There are no easy comebacks, but they really had to dig deep for this one. Yeah, to start off with so many mistakes and still now find a way where everything's working, it allows their momentum and confidence to continue to build. Tipped. Porter with the steal. Right side, Augustine. Back to Porter. Pass to Shangun. Let's the three fly. Got a piece of it. And out of bounds. Dallas will have it. That almost looked like bad communication. You hate to see that kind of mistake. And the Rockets making a change here. Tate's checked in. And Dallas with a change here, too. Porzingis has checked in. And we've got 28 seconds left in the third quarter. Now, Cauley Stein. To the inside, Finney Smith. And he converts the layup. Finney, Smith. Finney Smith's got six in the quarter. Houston has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Now, here's Gordon. He's marked by Finney Smith. Gordon outside. That shot off the mark. Third quarter comes to a close, and a battle brings it to a tie. And time for a short break. Stay right there. The fourth quarter is coming up next.
All right, let's listen in. Head coach Jason Kidd is mic'd up. He's taking all jump shots. Drive and make a play for a teammate. Keep talking on the defensive end. Relax, breathe. And a number of issues to cover there for Jason Kidd, trying to keep his guys aware of how they can improve. Yeah, looking for more unselfish play. They have to work together and try to have some fun out there. Daniel Tice. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. On the court right now for Dallas. Kleba and Porzingis, the combo inside. Luka Doncic is out there with Reggie Bullock. And it's Hardaway in at the three. The small forward. Pass to Doncic. Kleba, screen on tape. Clock at six. Doncic finds Hardaway. Off the mark there with a three. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Wood outside. Over Porzingis. And Porzingis with the block. Seven foot six wingspan sending it back. Kristaps Porzingis with the rejection. Doncic left side. Oh, and he got Houston fouled on his way up. He'll head to the Daniel line to shoot two. That's it's on Daniel Tice. One challenge for Kristaps Porzingis has been his health because over the course of his young career, he's missed about a quarter of the schedule to injury. Shooting two. That's good from Doncic. And Doris, throughout the league's history, a lot of players well over seven feet tall have dealt with leg issues. Yeah, in fact, even after the Knicks drafted Porzingis, if you recall, the front office questioned how he'd hold up. But boy, KP has put a lot of work into strengthening that lower body, getting down in the stance to hold ground and protect himself a little bit. Doncic hits them both. He couldn't get to the line once in the first half. Coach must have really talked to him at the break. Pass to Wood. Over Porzingis. It's rebounded by Dallas. Porzingis has got rebound number eight now. Doncic outside. Porzingis high post. Working on green. Here's Doncic. Tate grabs the board. The Rockets trail. On the wing, Green. Defended by Hardaway. Outside Tate. Pass to Wall. Can't hit that one. Oh, great D that time from Doncic. Dallas has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Here's Bullock. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. They grab their own miss. Blocked! Outside wall. Over Hardaway. The Rockets again can't hit. Boy, again, so little defensive pressure. You have to convert that. To the paint. It's stolen by Green. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. Ball for three. Ball missing again. The Mavericks have got none of their shots to go in this final quarter. 0 for 4. Here's Bullock. Wall covering. It's Bullock on the wing. Kleba outside. Poke loose. Here's Doncic. Drilled from 11 feet out. Doncic has got four points in the quarter. We haven't seen many buckets like that one. These teams have struggled to dial in their shooting. Well, you have to appreciate the defensive battle for sure. Both squads struggling on the offensive end. We call this grit and grind. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Bullock. Doncic with it. Three 
Rebounded by Green. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. A shot to stop the crowd! And Porzingis with the block. And I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. Pass to Doncic. Kleba outside. Outside Porzingis. And here's Kleba. Doncic with it. Outside Porzingis. And the three off target. This lead is up for grabs. Yeah, each possession has an importance. Wood outside. Over Porzingis. And that one comes up a bit short. What a masterful job on the defensive end. Did everything possible to alter that shot. Pass to Doncic. Back to Bullock. To the middle. And Doncic hammers it home. Authoritative finish by Luka Doncic above the rim. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. And Wall, here we go. And the foul called on John Wall. That'll be a second foul of the game. A great job to establish position and square up. Finney Smith checked in for Bullock. Dallas has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Doncic against Wall. Now here's Finney Smith. Outside Hardaway for three. Kept alive. Second shot opportunity. Count that bucket. And now it's an eight-point Maverick lead. Well, you love the physicality by Porzingis. Mix it up off the backboards, KP. Wall to pass to Green. Wood, a screen on Hardaway. Porzingis against Green. the run and Porzingis with the block their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass really getting after it and being physical Doncic finds Porzingis outside Hardaway on the wing Finney Smith Hardaway against Tate Porzingis with a screen on Tate here's Hardaway Wood grabs the board Wood's got 14 rebounds tonight, going after it. Boy, this guy just can't buy a bucket, and yet they have the advantage. Doncic on the wing, wall covering. Pass to Doncic. Outside Porzingis. Kleba, outside. From deep. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Tate passes to Wall. He can't get it to go. Good D by Doncic. Well, this guy cannot get started, and the offense overall has been a struggle because of it. Pass to Kleba. That shot off. And Houston will come the other way. Outside Tate. Wood passes to Wall. Here's Green, trying to get back on track. Porzingis grabs the board. I'll tell you, it feels all night like this guy's been forcing shots, rushing shots. He's really struggling on the offensive end. Hardaway, the pass to Doncic. Here's Porzingis. And he's going for the lob! And a this slam dunk Porzingis. by Porzingis. And that's a double-double for him now. Scoring through contact is something Kristaps Porzingis has got to get used to in the NBA. Teams try to get physical with this guy. Get loud for your Clark City
Let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. Chris Stapp's Porzingis. And what an unbelievable offensive performance from him tonight. I mean, it's been crazy fun to watch him just, just go off. I mean, the defense had no chance. He just kept scoring over and over again. I mean, they knew that coming off two straight losses, they had to change their strategy. Giving him room to shine was part of that, and he did not disappoint. Hey, guys, during that last break, I heard Steven Silas as he talked with the team. He let his guys know that he needs more from them to close this deficit. He said, quote, we have to get something started. I know we're behind, but you are capable of taking this game if you still want it. Houston has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Down low. Here's Wood. Oh, no good. The dry spell continues. Oh, stolen by Tate. Here's Wall. And the big finish by Wall. This is what we call keeping our foot on the gas pedal. John this Wall understands he's cooking team. and he's being aggressive. Timeout charge to Dallas. It's T-shirt for Denver! Make some noise! All right, look who's coming out of the court. Get loud for your club city! Dallas with possession. They're on a 10-2 run here. Wall against Doncic. Stolen by Wall. Two Inside. And Manny stolen by Hardaway. Two minutes. A minute 53 left in the fourth. Fade away. And it's Doncic missing. Boy, no idea why he went with the fade away. Basket. Wood outside. Fires from deep. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wood. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. The Mavericks leading. Minute 32 left in the fourth quarter. Kicks it out to Hardaway. Dallas no good that time either. At this point, I'm not sure if it's the play calling or the player himself. Down low. Wood misses. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Now here's Hardaway. Outside, Finney Smith. Pass to Doncic. And here's Hardaway. Shot clock at five. There's the three. Tice grabs the miss. After the strong first half, this guy has not been the same. And largely a no-show right here. Gordon can't hit. 
That's how you stay connected to a shooter, was right in his jersey. Doncic outside. Porzingis sets a screen. Doncic is double. They kick it out to Porzingis. Pass to Hardaway. And Eric Gordon gets the whistle that time. That's his first, That's his first foul. And just wasn't able to set up in time. Checking in for the Mavericks. Holly Stein, the pass to Brown. Six on the shot clock. Outside Finney Smith. Right side Brunson. Oh, they need this. Rockets with a rebound. Gordon on the wing. Beyond the arc. And so the Mavericks take the win. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you got to do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Luca, yes, another victory for you, but the games will keep coming. So what's the most important thing for this team to establish? I mean, compete, you know, the way we compete today from the start till the end. Uh, the game is never over and just compete. We put together a full game tonight and it paid off, guys. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.